in the video of today, I'll be teaching you how to start a Elasticsearch Docker container with two nodes and encryption. So stay tuned. My name is Rafael de Lima. I was born in Brazil, but I've been living in Portugal for the past four years that I've been working as a software developer. And through this channel, I share my experiences, my thoughts, and tutorials related to software development and my experiences in Portugal. So if you like this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button down below, all right? And before we get started, let me tell you that in the description down below, you can find ways to contact me through LinkedIn, Instagram, and my Medium account as well. If you don't like to watch videos, you can also find this same tutorial as a Medium article in the description below, and also the GitHub repository with all the files that we'll be using in this tutorial. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we want to do is let's create a new directory here. Let's call this directory elastic search tutorial i think it's important to mention that it will be using docker compose to manage our containers okay let's then start a new terminal with this folder and let's create four different files inside this directory right so the first file we want to create will be called instances.yaml right so let's do v instances.yaml you create a file Let's edit it, let's insert. I have it already here. Let me copy it and paste. Okay, I think it's worth explaining that this file will be used by Elasticsearch to create the certificates that will be used for encrypted communications that we'll be using in this tutorial, right? Okay, once you're done with it, let's write and quit. Okay, afterwards, let's create a new file, this one, will be called .env. This will hold our environment variables, right? We have three different environment variables. The first one will be Docker, comp Docker, sorry. So the first one will be compose project name, which is basically the prefix for everything inside this Docker compose project, right? So everything will start with yes, underscore, so our network, our volumes, our containers will all start with this prefix. Besides that, we have another variable that is the search directory, which is basically the directory where the certificates are expected to be found inside the Elasticsearch container. And finally, we have the Elastic password. This is the password for the Elastic user for connecting to our Elasticsearch instance, right? I'm going to leave it as please change me, but of course, you're supposed to change it to whatever you feel like changing, something secure, of course. <laughs> so let's write and quit. The next file you'll be creating will be called create certs.yaml, create dash certs.yaml. And this is already a Docker Compose file, right? So let me copy it first, and then I'm going to explain what this will be doing. So let me try to zoom in here a little bit. Okay, looks nice. Expand it a little bit so you can see that this file will be responsible for creating a container, right? A Elasticsearch container using this image here provided by the Elastic team. And basically it will run this command that will call the bin Elasticsearch search tutorial and that will create our certificates using the instances.yaml file that we created before, right? So you can see here that we will then create a volume called search where our certificates will be kept inside. Right. After that, what we want to do is to delete this container and keep the volume to be used by our Elasticsearch instances. Nice. So let me write and quit this one. And finally, let's create our, our last file, which will be called docker-compose.yaml. And this one will be responsible for creating our two containers representing our Elasticsearch nodes of the same cluster, right? So you can see that we have two containers here. The first one is yes 01 and the second one is yes 02 here, right? Both of them use the same image Elasticsearch at this version and both of them have this XPAC security properties enabled and set, right? And this is important because we need them for SSL and TLS communications. And you can also see that we'll be binding the volume for the certificates that we created previously, right? We haven't created it yet, but we have created at the time that we ran it. 
Okay, you can see that the node name of the first one is yes01, the node name of the second one is yes02, and both of them have this cluster dot initial master nodes equals yes01, comma yes02. And the elastic password for both of them is the elastic password variable that we define in the environment variables file. Nice, so let's write and quit. And now that we have everything we need, let's start by running this command to create our certificates, right? So this, you can see Docker Compose, we're gonna select the file, create search, the file that we created to create the certificates. We're gonna run it, and then we're gonna remove this container, right? So I'm gonna run this command. You see that the container was created here. It ran, and then it was removed, and the volume was capped here. I have a lot of volumes, but you can see that we have Elasticsearch. Search here with the prefix that I said that we're going that was going to be here. And the last thing a minute ago, it was created last than a minute ago. So it was created right now, right? After that, let's now run our Elasticsearch cluster. So we can do Docker Compose up bash D. And when we run this, okay, now it's downloading all the images. It is seeing that some of them already exist, the others are being downloaded. Okay, created both of the containers. You can see that both of them are running here. And finally, you see another container that is just saying that they started successfully, right? So let's wait for this container to appear before we actually continue. Okay, you can see that it's being created right now. Okay, it was created. And now let's test and see if it's actually running and exposed at the port 9200, right? So what we want to do is, so what we want to do is we need the certificate that was created inside our container, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this command, docker cp, that means copy, right? The name, the name of the container, yes, you were one. The path of the certificate, so user share, elastic search, config, certificates, ca, ca search, and then space and the directory where we want to save this file inside our host machine, right? I want to save it at my temp folder. That's what I'm doing right here. I'm gonna press enter. It's gonna copy the file from within the container to my host machine. So I'm gonna open Postman and we're gonna test it. So we have Postman here. I already created a new request and I'm gonna do HTTPS slash slash localhost, localhost at port 9200. I want to do a get request. So if I do it right now, you're gonna see that Okay, security exception, missing authentication credentials for REST requests. Okay, I had already configured here in the preferences of Postman, we have cert the certificates tab. I had already configured mine here. All right, so I'm gonna delete it. You can see that it's switched on, the CA certificates option, and then you have to select the file. I saved it into my temp folder, so that's where I am. I, you can see my CA cert file here. I'm gonna select it here, okay? All right, so you can see that it's saying that it's missing authentication credentials for REST requests because we also need authentication for it. So I'm gonna do a basic auth. I already have here Elastic, my password. I'm gonna hit the send button and now I see the expected response provided by Elasticsearch, right? So you know for search, we can see that our cluster is actually running as expected. And that's pretty much it. We have a elastic search cluster with two nodes running with encryption so if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the like button down below leave a comment and share this video with somebody else who might also be interested in this kind of content see you next time